So we're about to start shooting here on the range. They're gonna play the Star Spangled Banner, and then once that starts going, they're gonna start shooting guns on the range. Then we have a live range, so it's gonna be real fun. Cannot wait, it's gonna be real crazy though. I wanna grab this guy here. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. All right. Uh, other brown. That brown one? Oh, just drop the front. So pumped about the day. Let's go. <laughs> That's wild. What's up, guys? It's Johnny Q here. I am at Knoxville, Tennessee for the Gun Owners of America convention. As you can see behind me, it's a full on range day. We've got tons of vendors, tons of cool products, tons of awesome guns. And I'm going to show you all of that stuff in this video. So stick around, relax, and let's go have some fun. Let's do this. Oh, also, also, good question. So everyone's shooting live now. We are now live on the range, which means we can go to all these boots, shoot different guns, and it's gonna be awesome. I did not hear the Star Spangled Banner though. Maybe it was a little, little low. Did you hear it? No? All good. Play the Star Spangled Banner in our hearts. All right, let's go find some people and shoot guns. As we're here at Core Performance, and they have something really cool to offer as far as keeping you cool on the range on a very hot day while you're wearing a plate carrier, so let's check it out. Here we have the ice plate, so it's a medium e-sappy hard cell hydration bladder that provides cooling, heating, and hydration. So at the minute, we're wearing it in just the ice plate backpack Gen 3, so simple hydration bladder. So it's just, it's just back here then? Yep, yep. Okay. It's keeping me cool. Oh, so that is actually really cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've got that on my back right now. It, that, this is all kind of like entry into wearing an ice plate. You can put that on a plate carrier. So this is our plate carrier, the Ice, ice Plate Exo Gen 3. So this thing is 23 ounces. So ultra lightweight, ultra minimalist, and then designed purely around thermoregulation. So we've got the IMS Pro and a ice plate mounted inside. So this will provide cooling, heating, and hydration on your plate carrier. You can run this thing over with a truck, like we ran over this truck in particular, 3,000 yeah, pounds. Can you take this off? Can I show? Can yeah, I show? absolutely. And this, the plate with the water, like fill it with water. Yep. Fill right, it, and this goes back with, here. Yep, fill it with water, freeze it overnight, put that in, and that'll last you two to four hours of cooling, and then you can swap them out real quick. 
And then you can see here we've got our ice cap. So oh, that's cool. That, yeah. That we've got Source 90 drink tube leading into our ice plate. And so as this melts against your body, this is going to keep you cool or warm if you uh, put hot water inside of it in the cold. Yeah, as it, as it melts or cools, you can drink it. And actually, nice. yeah, the, the cooling power of this will actually reduce the amount of water that you need to drink. Oh, um, sure, sure, right, right. right. That would your, make sense. Keeping your core body temperature down. So as it melts, then you drink it. How long does this last then? Two to four hours. Two to four hours. Depending, on, yeah, depending on temperature, depending sure. on your body type. Right, that right. That's sweet, man. Is Pretty it heavy? No. I mean, is there water so, in here? This one's empty, so. Okay. I mean, uh, but not that much different, though. No, I mean, no, no. if it was. And this one, I mean, this has side plates on it. This is like a fully built out. Uh, right, extra. right. But without without plates and without the IMS Pro, this plate, this plate carrier itself weighs 23.2 ounces. Okay, yep. Uh, with the axle cummerbund. We also do a lighter one with just a side strap. Oh, sure. And that weighs 15 ounces. Seriously, that's not bad, though. No, that's no. That's super lightweight. No. This is made of uh, proprietary ice plate exo laminate. So okay. this material... So you guys make this, too? Yep, we make this right here in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. That's awesome, dude. So this is the Smith & Wesson 2.0. This is all metal, right? Yes, yeah, so aluminum frame. Aluminum frame, yeah. okay. Yeah. Man, that, that feels really good. Do they all come this smooth? Yeah. Okay, I gotta say, that trigger and that trigger pull, is, that wall is barely there. and take up we have then we have the brake okay and then we have the click and then the brake again Yo, that feels really good in the hands it's all ported up here we have this front serration we got rear serrations we have the defender xl optic 5 moa we got comps all the way around man that thing is just oh. man uh let's see here let's stay here what I can't get over right now is that slot. Like, I had a Smith & Wesson last year that I reviewed on the channel, and I don't remember the slide being this smooth. It almost acts and feels like a 2011, which is crazy, but dang. So, for mags, we have a 17-round magazine. Obviously, one in the chamber, you get total of 18 rounds. Yeah, I like that a lot. The ARC. The ARC 15? Dude, I yeah. mean, I'm 16 inch, right? That's a 13. .9. 13, dude, I am loving this. Yeah, man, that's pretty slick. Our bread and butter, like I said, is optics. This is our oh, it is the optics, yeah, okay. Yeah, yep. so this is the LP1. This is our large window, large reticle, durable Sweet. red dot sight. It's kind of like a Neotech. Oh man, that looks really slick. All right, what what is this called again? The LP1. LP1. Yeah, okay. The name is called Formation, but LP1. I like that reticle. It's nice and crisp. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot a couple here. Perfect, dude. Go ahead. That one might be a little more fun too. We got right here the Promethean optic, which is super. Like that reticle is nice and crisp. I'm actually liking this a lot. And apparently this has the giggle switch. So we'll try that out here pretty soon. Oh, that's butter. Okay, now let's try that giggle switch here. <laughs> oh man. That reticle looks so good though. Woo! Dude, I love that. It feels so good. This feels really good in my hand. So does this. So we got the M4 now with the, I think it's at the LP1 optic. Uh, let's go over here. You guys got here. Do you got any more? You got any new optics? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a huge window. It's on the Platypus. This takes Glock magazines. Stealth nice. Arms makes yep. it. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but. Yeah, you know, I have, yeah. That's a new one coming out. Dude, I love that. Yeah, that'll be out like maybe six or eight weeks. Currently at the Gideon Optics booth, and they have 
this new coming out optic here, and it's gonna be called the Planet. And look at the size of that window. That is just so good. Now, if you know me and you know the channel, I love big optics, big field of view, big windows. I'm gonna shoot this, and I'll tell you what, how it is, all right? Give, give me one sec here. Let's just, uh, let's do this. Oh yeah, I like that. So the thing with this optic right now, it's not just like a typical square. It's kind of got like, it starts here, kind of curves out, curves over like this and then back out. So that big window gives you a large field of view. That's cool. I like this. Yeah, it's a great combination on the platy, isn't it? Heck yeah, I you like this. Love the platypus to and the platypus to take clock and act too, which is great. great. Yeah. That's so good. Look at this, guys. Look how big that is compared to our first generation big window dot, the Omega. It's right. like not even close. So I always run the Omega on my echelon, yeah. but then you got this guy, it's even a larger field. It's just so good. Yeah. Can I get one more mag? Absolutely. Is that, is that cool? So look, look, look at this right here. Thank you. But it's a 2011 that fixes the biggest problem with 2011s, which is they have $85 mags that are picky. <laughs> so yep, now yep. I got a $20 mag that works great, and it still does 2011 things perfect. $20 what, mag. What's not to like? I know, right? These guys used to be the best kept secret, and now the word's gotten out, and everybody wants a platypus. So we're lucky we got ours. Dude, well. and this actually looks really good with its colorway. Yeah. It actually matches perfectly. Um. Woo. Heck yeah, dude. I like that. So this week we just launched the Lazarus platform. Okay. This is our new um, six arc Sweet. suppressor. Yeah. And so this marks kind of a new benchmark for us sure. at air. It's printed out of Haynes 282. Okay. Which yeah. is a super alloy meant for like rocket nozzle motor. Also, this is our lowest back pressure. Okay. Rifle pan that we've ever made. Really? Yeah. Ultra low back pressure. Yeah. And no barrel length restriction. Full auto rated. A lot of people are always compared to DBs. Yeah, what right. What we really care about too is tone. Important part of the, the conversation. Yeah. Is what is the tone? Gotcha. Of the sure, sure. Yo, there, yeah, there's like barely any blowback on that. Yeah. That's super nice. That's, and that flow through, that ultra low back pressure on it. Yeah. Is really what's critical with that can. But still making sure that it's still doing acoustic performance. Yeah. And also right. the nice thing about using Haynes 282 is it reduces flash signature as well. Sure. Too. Dude, it looks pretty rad too. It, <laughs> it, looks, it looks pretty sweet. Woo. Yeah, man, that's that's pretty killer. Do you make this for uh, pistols? Yeah, our pistol version of it is called Mojave 9. Okay. That, this is our new baffle geometry, which is known as the Tresculin okay. baffle, uh, yeah. which is uh, also like our gas management gotcha. for our ultra low baffle. Right, right. So comes in the 9 for the Mojave. Once again, full auto rated. Right, right. Rated for 9, 300 blackout. That's so cool, dude. Legend. Nice thing about this can is it's configurable, so you can break it down and run it in a short or long variation. Nice. It comes with a bunch of different backs. You can run this tri lug, you okay, know, obviously yeah. with a piston adapter or right, right. Oh, I love it. Slap that. Woo. It's barely anything. Yeah. That's so rad. This this is. Uh, a titanium suppressor. Titanium, okay. Right? Uh, versus the Haynes 32. Gotcha. And this is Mojave or Mojave? It's the Mojave 9. Mojave, okay. The Wolverine. Yeah, is that um, what it's called? This one's been in our our line for a while. It's been a flagship. Okay. And kind of almost one of the mascots of the brand. Everything from this can has uh, tapered out as you go towards the front cap. Okay, yeah. To help combat bad concentric threats on an AK right. to yeah. help reduce front cap strikes. Is this inside of it has positions to help counteract not 
concentric threads and stuff. Too. Right, right. So we really tried to look at all the problems that is pressing in AK and how to solve them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's so smooth. That's that's crazy. Like I was anticipating, because it's an AK, right? Yeah. But I'm, I stopped that first shot. There's barely any recoil. Yeah, well, so that's so cool. All of that. When we, when we talk about suppressing an AK, we obviously, when you're doing this, the other big upgrade that we recommend on any. AKs is our friends over at KNS. Oh they make yeah, the variable yep. gas piston. Nice. Yep, Those right. two little upgrades really takes that AK and turns it into an ultra soft. Heck yeah, sweet man. All right, I'm with the two A boys right now. Let's ask them what their favorite gun is. What's your favorite gun? MP7. The what? HK MP7. Oh okay, okay. What's your favorite gun? HK MP7, but I also love any 2011. Any 2011, any 2011. dude. I, I love that too. What's your favorite gun? I'm probably, I, I like the 2011s. Heck yeah. yeah. So, okay, look, everybody loves 2011. Yeah. Yeah. I do too. Give me a quick rundown of like what your channel is. Just like really quick. Well, we're the 2A boys. We're just about showing the world that kids can be capable. Heck yeah, yep. And Capa capable of what? We're capable of being self-sufficient, capable of being proficient with firearms. Definitely, definitely. At what point in our world did that become an unusual subject? Right. I mean, it's right. it's been a part of, of the history of this nation. Yeah. And when did why did that change? When did it change? Right. I, I feel like a lot of people see kids and guns, and they don't like they think they shouldn't mix. That's right. But you're teaching your boys how to handle a firearm, That's right. how to properly store it, how to properly you know follow the rules and safety of That's a right. firearm. That's right. Right. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this or? I don't know where it says there's an agium in the second amendment. Yeah, yeah, right, that. right, right. But would you say that you guys are just overall have a better understanding about firearms and firearm safety? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and why is that? Is it because your dad teaching you these yeah, things? Yeah, because we grew up on a range. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. And you guys know how to properly handle the firearm. And that's where I think dads like you need to come in to this country. Like, dads should be present in, in the lives of their kids. Absolutely. And you, you're teaching them fundamentals of firearms, but also that goes across like everything else, like life, being a yep. good man, being humble, being kind, all those things. So I just feel like you guys are doing it right, and you guys are awesome. So make sure to go follow these guys on Instagram, on YouTube. Are you on TikTok? We're not on TikTok, uh, we're on X. Um, okay, we yep, have good, our, on our website, the2aboys.com. There you go. Come check us out. Subscribe to our website. Yep. And uh, just stay tuned. Thank you. And we'll have more content with these guys very soon, too. So thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Heck thank yeah. You. Appreciate heck it. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah.